Lord. I was asked to give the occasion, and I tried to keep thinking about what would I say to really describe um, this sad but very happy occasion for Elder and uh, Missionary Doom. And when I thought about it, I started thinking about how uh, cultures um, celebrate their elders within them. And one of the first cultures that came to mind were the, the Eskimo culture. Anyone familiar with the Eskimo culture where when people become older, they go off, they separate, and they no longer become a part of the village. And then I started thinking about how the African culture is, how elders are embraced and welcomed and they stay within a, uh, in a village and share their knowledge and understanding until they pass on. And then I started thinking about it and I was like, how do we really celebrate that our elders, and I'm thinking not just the elders of the church, but elders among us. And I felt like, you know, I'm kind of like more in this process because we're gonna be losing part of the wisdom of our church. Um, missionary, I'm sorry, Sister Ruffin sent to me the bios of both um, Missionary Dooms as well as uh, Elder Dooms. And in it, it was such a wealth of information about how they came to this city and how they live. And then Sister Hagen was sharing with me how uh, Sister uh, Missionary uh, Dooms was her neighbor across the street as a young woman before she married um, Elder Dooms. And when I looked, I said, they, they, Elder Dooms was here in 1969, if I remember correctly. And I started thinking about how much energy and how much information and how much wisdom, how much time they spent in this church yeah. making it better. And I started to think about how I had my first Sunday at this church. And I know people probably won't remember, but Elder Dooms brought the message that Sunday. My very first Sunday here at this church. And I got to hear the word. And I started thinking about how much of an honor it has to be to have such a spiritual family, two people in a home, and how blessed their daughters had to have been because they preach the word and bring it forth. So this occasion for me is very sad because we're going to be losing two very important people yes. for our church community. Because I look, think about our church as a village, as a family. And even though they're going off and want to celebrate them because they're getting tired and they're going to be closer to their family, at the same token, this is kind of like a somber occasion. Celebrate one moment, somber in another moment. And when I was thinking about a scripture about the virtuous woman and about wisdom coming forth, and these two people represent all of it. At this point, we need to just clap and celebrate the lives of missionary women. <laughs> Brother Glenn and I do often, and so we'll see you again. <laughs> if you don't see them in Georgia and you don't see them visiting D.C., at least we know if we serve and follow the Lord and live the life that they've been preaching and talking to us about, we'll see them again. So it's celebratory but sad at the same time. This occasion is very special to them, and we thank you for your dedication and your service. 